Hello, this is the Neil Squire presentation on disclosure of a disability and general guidelines. Today's topics are going to be when and how to disclose, accommodations, do people ask illegal questions, and what are your answers to those questions. Accommodations. This is a big subject and a touchy one for some people. Some people tell me that they don't want to use accommodations or appear to be using different equipment than other people. But I'm here to tell you that everyone uses accommodations. The people that came into this building today used a staircase or a ramp to get to the door. Then they had to use a doorknob in order to open the door. We all use accommodations. Before you start your new job, it's a good idea to know exactly what equipment you're going to need in order to be most effective in the workplace. On this slide are a list of some of the equipment that people typically would use in the workplace. For instance, in my case, I've got an ergonomic keyboard. I use a large computer monitor and my desk and chair have been ergonomically set up for my specific needs. Now we're going to talk about the fine art of how and when to disclose. The hows and the how not to's. There are no hard and fast rules about when to disclose. Our recommendation is to disclose your invisible disability to your employer when you are offered the job. Labor laws in British Columbia will allow any employer to dismiss you during your probationary period without grounds. So prepare yourself and your employer and give yourself the very best start in your new job by fully revealing any challenges you may have in managing your job. If you have an invisible disability, Really take advantage of that time with the interviewer to sell your abilities, to make sure that you let them know what a great fit you are for this job. When you get to the end of the interview or when you're offered the job, then is the time to, to confidently disclose what your disability is and emphasize how it will not impede your ability to do the job. For those of you with a visible disability, it's appropriate to prepare the interviewer so the surprise factor of meeting a person with a, a visible disability doesn't color your interview. Be matter of fact and no apologies. Phrases such as, I happen to use a wheelchair, is your building accessible? Or I use a guide dog for navigation. Would it be possible to have somebody meet me in the lobby to escort me to your office? Are quite appropriate. You've all heard the story about being given lemons and having to learn how to make lemonade out of them. The same thing applies when you're job hunting and interviewing. It's your responsibility to let the employer know you come with the ability to do the job and do it effectively. And on top of that, you know what accommodations you need and you've got the tools to do the job effectively. I'm going to call this page the elephant in the room. Sometimes employers are afraid to either ask the question outright or don't know how to phrase the question. But one of the first things that's going to be occurring to them is, holy crow, how much is it going to cost me to hire this employee and have them work effectively? So you need to be able to let the employer know what accommodations you can bring with you, if they need to be bought, where they can be sourced, and, and what's the cost. You need to let them know that you, uh, you can use these tools and use them successfully. And you have to let them know, also know that there is government funding available to help cover the cost of these um, items you may be using. 
If you or your potential employer have any other questions about accommodation, please don't hesitate to contact the Neil Squire Society. You know the number. Now I would like to address illegal questions. And you may be thinking, why would anybody ask an illegal question? Well, sometimes it comes from lack of understanding or maybe an inexperienced interviewer. But let's cover some of the questions that may be posed to you. BC legislation cites that an interviewer can only ask you questions that relate to your general health and your ability to do the job. But despite that, sometimes questions can be asked that step over the boundaries. So we're going to address some typical responses that you could use should that happen in an interview that you're attending. How you respond when asked an illegal question um, will set the tone for the interview and you want to keep the interviewer on your side. You need to answer the question briefly while redirecting the interviewer. You need to stay within your comfort zone. Remember, it's all about your ability to do the job. So the first example I'm going to use is perhaps you are a wheelchair user and the employer says, whoa, I see you're in a wheelchair. What happened to you? Well, what happened to you isn't the issue to be addressed today. So a redirection for that person would be, although I use a wheelchair, the wheelchair isn't relevant to my ability to do this job. In fact, I have a very high skill set and the very best training to do this job and I'm really excited about it. Perhaps an employer might say, how, do you, how, how are you going to explain your disability to clients? So a good response would be, I have the skills to do a great job and I know that's why our clients are coming to this company because we, they know we have the ability to do it. I don't think my disability would be a relevant issue. This will be your opportunity to take control of the conversation. They can ask the question, but you need to be ready to answer their reason for asking. Don't get into specifics and remind them again that you're there because of the excellent abilities you have. If you prepare yourself and have the answers to those unasked questions and remember to focus on your abilities, you can have a very successful interview. Phrases such as the one below can be very reassuring to an employer when they're concerned about the tools you may want to use or the equipment that you may need. Remember, you've got the abilities and that's why you're there today. So this concludes our presentation on disclosure. If you have any questions, please ask your facilitators to give you a hand. Thank you.